All right, how are we going to close out the week on Wall Street? Looks like we're going to be slightly lower, certainly at the opening bell, but you never know how we'll look at the close. NASDAQ down almost exactly 100. Uh, that would be eight minutes before the market opens. Let's bring in Ed Sedell. He's our market watcher of the morning. Ed, now let me give a big picture here. For maybe 20, 25 years, we've been told that a mm -hmm. debt crisis is coming. It's just round the corner. The debt bomb is going to explode <laughs> because we're borrowing too much and the debt's too high. You think the debt crisis is almost here, don't you? Yeah, well, I, you know, I don't know if it's going to be in the next five months or the, the next five years, but, uh, you know, even Moody's, I mean, they're starting to downgrade banks and, and even the larger banks, they're, they're put on the, uh, the watch list. And there, there's so much consumer debt. I mean, uh, from a national debt level, we're spending 5.1 billion more uh, than what we're bringing in, in in tax revenue. So, and this is all inflationary, which is going to increase rates uh, to get inflation under control, create more downward pressure on on banks across the board. Um, and you know, eventually, you know, the the chickens are going to come home to roost. I'm not asking for a time frame. But we are moving up the debt crisis, aren't we? Yes. And when you couple it with today's oh, with slightly hotter than expected inflation number at the producer level, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, this seems to be a significant overhang for the entire market. It, it is. And, and I don't know if the markets have actually priced in, you know, uh, another rate hike. I, I think we're definitely going to see one in September. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see, uh, you know, one or two more. Um, because inflation is here to stay, and, and it really has more to do with we cannot get spending under control. Um, and, you know, again, the, the only tool in the tool bag that the feds are using right now is interest rate control. And so that, that creates more pressure on American families, which is increasing uh, credit card debt. Uh, and it hit an all-time high. So, again, everything is kind of coming to the surface. I don't know if we've hit that tipping point yet, but we're pretty close. Should I put fresh money into the market now? If for some reason I liberate some capital, I've got some money on the side here, should I put it into stocks now or a 5% one-year treasury? Um, I, you know, honestly, I like the one-year treasury. Um, yeah. you, you know, we're, we're still in the market. There's a couple sectors that we still like, you know, but in, in the majority of our portfolios across the board, you know, I, I like the one-year mm -hmm. T-note because it's, uh, it's that risk-off uh, in, um, uh, investment. You, you say you like a couple of areas. What are they? Yeah, you know, I, I like utilities. I, I really like energy and, and health care. You know, those three things uh, right now, again, especially going into to winter, um, you know, they're, they're pretty stable. So, and again, uh, you know, we're, we're hedging our bets. I, I also like a little bit of precious metals right now to, to hedge against inflation in the U.S. dollar because I think that's in danger as well. But again, that should just be a very small portion of the overall portfolio. Uh, we've had lots of discussion recently about gold. Not much on this program, but mm -hmm. in, in Wall Street generally, I see gold looked at frequently. What proportion of your assets yes. should be in gold? And, and what kind of gold? Gold bullion, gold coins, gold mining shares, what? Uh, you, you know, I think it should be, uh, you know, if you're investing in the market, it should be between the mining shares um, and uh, the, the gold stocks. Um, but, you know, I like legal tender. If you're going to physically hold it, I, I like legal tender. Um, you know, and it doesn't matter if it's, you know, um, from the U.S. or Krugerrands or wherever it is. But legal tender, I think, is really important. And, it, you know, again, it's not so much an investment as it is a, a storage of value. Exactly. So that's really what you have to look at, especially as if we believe inflation is going to going to continue to grow and and it will if we keep spending you know i think it's a great place to, to store value yes and you can also bury your gold and keep it away from prying <laughs> eyes can't you you know that's always a, a, that's a nice right. thing to have going for it ed Sedell, thank you very much for being with us this friday morning we appreciate it sir we'll see you again soon okay thank you